scary morning in the PRP area when a car crashes into a home, sending several people to the hospital. WLKY's Carolyn Callahan is at the intersection of Devonshire Drive and West Pages Lane. Carolyn, of course, this isn't the first time this house has been hit. We're hearing, right? Yeah, it's not, Colin. I'm going to tell you about that in just one minute. But first of all, it was West Pages that the drivers involved in this were driving down. Let's show you the tire tracks that are still here. These are here from when the car was being pulled out of here after police were here this morning. And right here, this is the damage on the house. This is where this car crashed this morning. And now we want to show you what this scene looked like when this happened. It was right about 8 o'clock this morning when this happened. Now, someone who lives inside this home tells us that a car was driving stopped short on West Pages. Another car rear ended that car. Now, the car that did the rear ending lost control, wasn't able to stop and slammed into this house. The people inside the house say that it sounded like a bomb went off when the car hit this house. They say this is a very dangerous intersection. Everybody speeds down West Pages because it's a straight shot and nobody wants to stop at the stop signs. It's hard for us to even get out in the summertime and be by ourselves like cutting grass or anything. So we always have to have somebody watching us. And now we are told that several people, including some children, were taken to hospitals. We do not know the extent of their injuries. Someone in the home told us that one of the children had a cut on their forehead because of this crash. Now, like you said earlier, this is not the first time that a car has crashed into this house. In 2011, a car crashed in, and in that crash, the driver actually was killed in that crash. So again, neighbors we've spoken to out here today also say a very dangerous intersection. They say they wish people would would slow down. Reporting live, Carolyn Callahan, WLKY News.